GNG Gameness New Generation. Name, Grand Champion Headhunters Solution. Breeder, Wetzel. Owner, Headhunter. Fictional history posted for archival and educational purposes. This is an earlier article on the solution and his road to championship. Headhunter's Grand Champion Solution I am not much on writing, but this is more or less the story on Headhunter's Champion Solution. When I got Dracula, who is the sire to Solution, I was kind of new to the dog game. Dracula was a two-and-a-half-week-old puppy when I got him, so of course I had to bottle-raise him. As a result of having to constantly feed this pup, he went everywhere with me. He was a real smart dog, never making too many mistakes. When Dracula's father, Darth Vader, got off the chain when Dracula was twelve months old, the pup took quite a beating from his father, but kept going. The next time Dracula and Darth Vader tied up, Dracula came out on top staying in Darth's chest. I never was real sure about Dracula because of the way he was bred. I put him on dogs that always outweighed him by at least 10 to 15 pounds, and he would always end it in about 15 or 20 minutes' time. Doc Waldrop, an old-timer in the dog game, once brought a dog over to roll on Dracula that was supposed to be a rough, game dog. Well, in about ten minutes into the roll, Doc said he had seen enough and picked up his dog. He then offered to buy Dracula from me, but needless to say I turned down his offer. After that roll with Doc, I put several more dogs on him in rolls, and he looked good on all of them. Some of them were from the yards of Ricky Jones, Bert Sorrells, Grady Cummings, and a few others I can't think of right now. A good friend of mine, Bulldog Pete, has a half-brother to Dracula that is a champion. But will not breed him because of the breeding, but also refuses to roll him anymore either for he is game and has paid his dues. Now for Wetzel's Tazzy, the dam to champion solution. I had her before Dracula. I had rolled her several times with some good hard-biting bitches, she showed well. After she got completely healed, I too dogged her for about an hour and a half and found her worthy of being bred. The first time I matched Solution I went into Doc Waldrop at 47 pounds. Doc was using a dog named Buddy, he was a hard-biting stifled dog, as he had Solution in trouble for the first ten minutes. Buddy was working Solution over good, but the Solution weathered the storm and started in on that nose. It was not long after that Buddy changed his fight plan and tried some other tactics. Solution stayed on that button and did a lot of damage as a result making it hard for the other dog to breathe. At 110 Buddy takes the count and Solution makes a good courtesy scratch. The second match was in Tennessee into the Bluegrass Kennels at 46 pounds. All I heard was they had a killer. He killed one in 17 minutes, but even with all this talk Solution and his breeder went to the hills to see what they had. Bluegrass Kennels was using a dog from Champion Bronco slash Champion Jeep slash Red Boy breeding that was in good shape and had come to do battle. Things were pretty even until at the 145 mark their dog started to slow down as the head fighting style of the solution was taking its toll. At 211 the other dog stood for the count as solution claimed victory in one tough battle. Solution gives an excellent courtesy scratch. Solution's championship match was into a dog named Lester owned by Two Hawks Kennels. Lester is double-bred paladin on top and tight chivo slash cowboy blood on the bottom. Lester comes out of the gate like a buzzsaw and straight into Solution's chest. Solution works his way to the top of the head and starts to work and gets Lester out of the front end. 
Lester goes to the rear end, but Solution is able to get him out the three times he gets to the stifle. At 45 a turn is called on Lester. There is only one scratch each made as Two Hawks picks up a game Lester at 110 and my son of Dracula and Tazzy wins his title, and is now known as Champion Solution. Headhunter